Good morning. My name is Rob Arnold and I'm the area manager here with BASF in North Dakota. And today I'm standing here with a grower from Osnabrock, Bruce Roeder. Bruce, would you uh, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your operation? I'm Bruce Roeder. I farm with uh, my two boys and another partner. We've been farming quite a while. This is like my 43rd crop. I don't know, we're just your average family farm. Trying to make a living. There you go. Can you tell us uh, a little bit about having, or the value of having uh, canola in your operation? Well, it's a rotation deal. It's uh, fantastic for wheat. Our rotation is normally wheat, beans, canola. Our wheat after canola is great. You know, we have uh, weed issues, disease issues, and it's just a fantastic rotation for us. So what is the, what's the challenges you have uh, with, uh, uh, as a canola grower? And again, talk a little bit about uh, how those, uh, or in bigger, maybe fits those challenges. Well, weather's our number one challenge, and, and bigger is, uh, you know, it's liberty, instead of a roundup, roundup, roundup. It uh, breaks our rotation for weeds. Uh, this year was a little more challenging than normal with bugs and moths and flea beetles, but uh, just what we what we need to do. So with the um, with the uh, Invigor hybrids that BSF offers in the marketplace, do they meet your challenges? Yep, we you know we like to straight cut. We don't like to swath. Kind of slows us down a little bit, and uh, yeah. Your pod shatter varieties are fantastic. No, I, no, it's just, it works for us. So can you tell us a little bit more uh, about the value of straight cutting in an operation? Well, I feel uh, it's at least 10% better yield. I mean, we haven't swathed anything for a couple years now, but if you split a field and swath or straight cut, straight cut is at least 10% higher yield, I feel. Yeah. And the majority of the growers I talk to are We'll agree with that. So you talked a little bit about uh, liberty in your operation in terms of rotating the herbicide, but in terms of weed control, what uh, do you see there any added benefit with the liberty? Well, on liberty the... is way better on kochia than Roundup products and the stuff you have to mix with your dicambas. And of course, everybody knows about that floating around the country. No, liberty is liberty's a good broadleaf, very good, very good. Okay. Um, what uh, specific hybrids are you actually raising? I do believe this year we got quite a bit of 340 and then we got some 233 and 255. And do you search out those hybrids by yourself or do you consult with your retailer? Our retailer kind of makes up a lot of the decisions. So would you say your retailer is a, is a critical component of your farming operation? Yes, absolutely. And maybe expand a little bit on, uh, on just some of the things that he brings to your operation. He brings a, a wealth of knowledge that I can't attend all these meetings in the winter and stuff. And his, his knowledge is basically he says we do because he knows what he's doing. And who is your retailer? Justin Balsden. Great. Top notch. Can you can you repeat that and tell us where they are? Just what where Justin? What what is their? Is it is it like Valley Equipment? Or okay, what? Justin Balsden works for North Prairie Ag out of Osnabrück. He is the manager of the agronomy division, and seed, fertilizer. Helps you a lot? Yep. Help. Top notch. Can't stress that enough. So just to follow up, uh, Bruce, is there anything else that you'd like to add uh, in terms of just uh, um, other things that maybe BSF has or maybe what you get from your retailer or the value of the hybrids? Anything else you'd like to add before well, we close? We talked a little bit earlier, you know, you're, you, we got a better seed treat for next year. We've been kind of hoping for something better. Yep. For the first shot of flea beetles, they've taken you guys have taken care of that. So next year will be our first year trying that. And no, BASF's very easy to work with. You know, you're innovative. You're you're on the ball. You know, you're, you're getting it done. Well, we thank you for your business. You bet. Thank you. Yep. Bruce, was there any concern, uh, you know, with growers when thinking about the transition between Bayer and, and Bayer? there was yes, of course there was con there was concerns. You know, Bayer's huge, huge, I know that BASF is also, but canola's a minor crop. They're gonna forget about us up here. They did not. They stuck with us. I mean, 
I mean, what is there, a million acres of canola? And, one point uh, one point eight million acres. Yeah. Well, of canola in North Dakota, yeah, correct? That's yeah. a minor crop. Yep. So for a big company like BASF to continue research and bringing us new products and better products and better seed treat is very, you know, we feel good about that. I mean, they, they, they care about us. They're not willing to throw us under the bus. What's the variety of the canola you plant? We got 340 and I think 233 and 255. I think that's a Justin question, Justin Balson. But how long you been it was in vigor? Oh, uh, what you could talk about in vigor for just a second? I'm gonna say 25 years. With what product? With Invigor products. Okay, great. I'm back in the old 4870s, which you know we're. It's our uh, 25 year anniversary next year. Okay. So uh, it'll it's be 25 a, years. Yeah. It's an old lodge. It was a lodging problem. Your new one, you took care of that. It was high yielding, but it lodged. It was hard, harder. You, harder you've harder seen stuff. a lot of changes in in the canola. Oh, yeah. Tell me a little about the trans. Uh, well, you know, when we first started, we had, you know open pollinated varieties, which weed control is an issue because it's such a minor crop. 25 years ago, there was hardly any spray we could use. Uh, then the Roundups came and that was good. And then you guys came or Invigors came and that was better. You know, it gives us a rotation. You know, and that's what it's all about, you know.